If there are upgrades in your game, that means you need to start at a certain power level. Since where you start is also where you get your first impression, if you want to make a good first impression, it's important for players to have fun even though they're at their weakest, to show players why they want to keep playing. Rally Racers does not leave a good first impression. Even as far back as the original VCS, there were budget games, like those from Mythicon, which sold for $10. And that tier of game continued throughout the console areas to today, where we see budget games throughout the Steam catalog, mobile stores, and big box retail store shelves. Budget doesn't mean bad, though. In fact, many great ideas and developers got their start learning the magic of game creation through hard practice over the years. What they do tend to lack is the graphical gloss, music, and polished gameplay of their big budget rivals. Levels. Rally Racers is most definitely a budget title. I actually had a lot of fun with Rally Racers once I got through the initial stages and figured out the game's somewhat rudimentary physics. By the end, I was marathoning through the game and enjoying it, so they've clearly done something right. Okay, so if the graphics aren't great, the characters you play look downright creepy, the music is generic and the steering can feel bad, what is there to like? Each stage requires you to beat three goals, and only one of these goals is getting to the end the fastest. One goal has you collecting oranges, and some are harder to find and get than others. There's a stunt goal where you get big points for stringing several flips together. Finally, you need to get first place. In practice, I explored the levels at the start to collect oranges, then once I had found them all, I went through subsequent races, pulling off tricks and trying to win. Often I'd get the stunt and race goal in the same race, but not always. It's this mix of exploration, pro skater style trick making and racing that the developers got right. And since this is the thing you'll do the most, it means they got a lot right. At the end of each of the game's regions, you race against a boss, and it's here your upgrades are put to the test. You simply cannot win these races unless you have a fast enough car, and in a few cases that meant I had to go back and run races I'd already fully completed in order to collect enough money to upgrade my vehicle. I probably had to grind fewer than a dozen races in total, and once I crossed the required speed threshold, I simply overtook the boss's ghost minions, which gets you more time, and then passed the boss himself to win the race. If I could get past the very first ghost, I always got through the level. If not, then it was always a matter of upgrading my vehicle to be fast enough to overtake that first ghost. In time, I spent about six hours playing Rally Racers, and I completed the entire game. Only the modern controller is supported due to the game's button needs. While there's a drift button, I never got the hang of it, and I was able to easily complete the game without ever using it. One of the most frustrating parts of Rally Racers is its You Are Off Course respawn system. I frequently found myself off course even at the edge of the track and would sometimes get back on track only to have to wait down the countdown respawn anyway costing myself precious time and losing the race. Other than this issue, I experienced a small amount of slowdown in a few tracks. The game overall ran very well on the VCS. While Rally Racers will not win any awards or be anything other than a budget kart racing game, it does do that well, and it's nice to see a kart game arrive on the VCS, where the only other kart racers right now are on cloud services like Air Console. Hopefully the next racer to hit the VCS will have split screen or online racing since Rally Racers is single player only. The game released on the VCS at $10. Thanks for watching. I'll have more videos in the coming weeks including a look at Breakout Recharge and some cool 7800 games. Liking helps support the channel and subscribing gets these videos in your feed. Have fun.